Assalamu alaikum, dear all. I hope all you are fine. Uh, in this series tutorial, we are going to learn about how to create a Laravel 10 application. Uh, in last tutorial, we already uh, see the overview of our Laravel 10 multiple auth with admin LTE. Now we uh, create our project and start our project to complete the full series tutorial. Now first part is Laravel 10 installation and we run our Laravel and then we uh, install UI package and bootstrap authentication then we create database, link database and then we, up, then we migrate database and test and enjoy our code. So first of all we need to check the uh, our requirement. Uh, let's start our task. Uh, we want to create here we can check uh, PSP minus hyphen V PSP 8.1.2 node hyphen V and composer NV ok uh, this is our requirement now we create uh, project composer create project laravel public laravel um, easy solution laravel 10 multi auth ok uh, this is the command and this is our project name ok then go to our project here directory cd uh, easy solution and we can run our project psp artisan sub Uh, this is our default page and Laravel version and PSP version. Also, we open it with VS Code. Composer.json. This is Laravel framework 10 and PSP 8.1. Okay, now. Now we install UI package Composer required Laravel UI. Okay. Now we install Bootstrap auth. Uh, when we install Bootstrap auth. Uh, they are a folder will automatically will create it auth folder and uh, corresponding register uh, forget password uh, then uh, login uh, page will automatically create it psp artisan auth Okay, authentication scaffolding generated successfully and bootstrap scaffolding installed successfully. Okay, then we uh, compile our project and pm install. and npm run dev this allow ok then turn our project again psp artisan serve psp artisan serve
there is a login and registration page is automatically created okay if we click register uh, the auth folder is coming layouts folder is coming okay login register verify and app uh, all pages are automatically created now we need to uh, create and database and link our database okay uh, first of all we, we create a database easy solutions laravel tab multi now we update .env file and username is root uh, password is plain but when we want to uh, upload our project in cpanel we have to uh, update our database file here okay after doing this project we will uh, automate we will update we will upload our project in cpanel okay now we can run our we can run migration psp artisan migrate okay all database is automatically created uh, database there there is a migration file there are five tables okay now we check all table is automatically created and uh, there are five five table the listed file are already included in migration table okay okay now we run our project and we, we need to uh, update our key psp artisan key then add it okay now this partition serve we run it again uh, okay right now register is already coming and login register now we click register base okay fine now we create option okay successfully user is created and this is home page and all user is already created okay and uh, after login user is redirected to this page okay now uh, in next part we will install we will integrate admin LTE uh, that means we can download admin LTE latest version 3 version ok this is our uh, admin dashboard and uh, we can uh, use any anyone this is a, a default base from dashboard and there is a multiple multi level uh, menu multi level menu 1 2 and 3 uh, also there is a lots of pages uh, login register page login version 2 uh, we need it mm. extract register base okay then there is a gallery dashboard form there is a multiple form function advanced from editor uh, 
uh, we will implement in our project okay uh, now uh, we copy in our project we copy it We need, we need to download it from GitHub. Just click code and download it. Uh, this is a Bootstrap 4 based admin LTE tablet. It is already downloaded uh, within a second. most probably 27 or 28 mb okay 27.5 uh, now open it and extract copy it then i will uh, integrate in our project uh, we create a folder name backend paste here uh, i hope uh, you enjoy this tutorial uh, if you miss the previous tutorial overall uh, food system and admin lt integration please uh, uh, watch uh, our previous video uh, i hope uh, you enjoy this tutorial uh, if you are new in my channel please subscribe my channel and if you already subscribed my channel please like comment share my video thanks for watching thank you